guys, so this is Michelle and this is the finished headscarf look. So, I've got just a wee tutorial on how I did this, um, if anybody wants to see. This is ideal if you have hair loss, whether you have alopecia of whatever type, um, or if you just fancy wearing a headscarf. This is very much for people who may have hair loss. Um, it might look like I've got hair underneath, but I don't, and you will see how I did this in a minute. So if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned, and here comes the video. Once again, I apologise for my incessant chatting and ranting and talking nonsense, but here comes the video, guys. Okay, thank you. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Michelle. So this is how I basically got to the look that you'll have just seen there. So the padding, the reason that it was padded, this is my kind of underscarf padding. This is from derezina.co.uk. Now they also um, sell on Amazon. They have their own kind of shop on there as well. So this one is high padding. You can get, I think you got a low, a medium and a high. So, so this one is the kind of high padding. Now it's really soft. I don't know what material it actually is. But it's very soft. It's very smooth. It's got a wee bit of stretch to it. And um, it's pretty good. Now this is, does... I keep saying this is my plant pot, it looks like a plant pot. So this is for under head scarfs. I tend to put it behind my ears like this and then tie it at the back with the ribbons. Now, I tie it once and like in a wee bow, I just tie it. I don't actually tend to untie it because it's stretchy so you can just take it on and off. So it does look a bit like a plant pot. You can buy it in different colours. You can buy a black one I believe. You get the nude. I think you can possibly get a white. I have a medium padded. This is a high padded. Now, what the point of this is, is to make it look like you have, maybe if you've got a headscarf or a hat or whatever on, kind of looks like you've actually got hair underneath and that your hair is just put up into a high bun. So this is it. So it does work quite well. I really love it. So what you need to do once you've got this on is basically just take a headscarf, any headscarf. So this lovely headscarf that I have today is a square one. I think it's 90 centimetres by 90 centimetres and I got this at the Alopecia UK Big Weekend and this was one of Amy's bargain scarves that I got so thanks Amy because I actually love it, it's amazing. Any scarf this will work with, so I'm using a square one, you can do it with one of the big rectangle ones, a smaller one, whatever you like. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm not even folding this into the triangle, literally just placing it on the head, onto my head. Okay, so obviously the idea is that's meant to look like it's a wee bun underneath and you're here. So I always have that sitting a wee bit further back here because you want your scarf to cover it. You don't want your you don't want your thingy, your padding to be showing. Now I do tend to cover most of my ears if I'm not going to be doing a thick, thick head scarf if it's quite thin. Um, some people put it behind. It's totally up to you. It's very much personal preference. So I just kind of like to have it over there, but maybe have the bottom of my lobe so that I can have my nice danglies in. So what I'm doing is crossing it over at the back. So you have a couple of tails here crossed over. Okay, so just fix it up. Now if you want to have it kind of shorter on one side and longer the other, this is what I do. Sorry, I should have said that. I've not got it smack bang in the middle. It's a wee bit shorter on one side. My rationale for that you will see in a moment. So this is me crossing it back over. So my shorter side should in theory be here. It's slightly shorter than this. Now, what I'm going to do now, it's nice, it's snug, it's secure, it's well fitted, is the longer side I am going to take over the top here to the other side. Now, this is just sitting here. You can kind of, I kind of like it like this, hanging at the side. If you want, if you need it tied up, like if I was going to work and I wore this, my hair has to be off my collar, which would mean headscarf off the collar as well. I would just pop it at the back here, tie it in a wee knot and tuck those knots in. So you can do that, which I think is quite pretty. Now, when you wear this, it does, it is padded and it does look like as if you've got hair and that's all just up underneath. What I'm going to do just now though, is grab a wee bobble, a wee bobble, an elastic band, whatever you like. And I'm just going to literally, not put my earrings in it, <laughs> I'm going to do this here, just tie it round. So, that is so. 
So I just have that dangling, let me show you, as you can see. I quite like this look. I like to have a wee bit at one side dangling. What you can do, if you prefer, you can have a wee swirl here as well. It's all very fancy. I've literally just, I didn't even twist it like this. You could twist it and then just wrap it round. And when you get the end here, just kind of through the back and then pull it out the middle and then tuck it back under again. You're going to have a nice secure headscarf and you have your wee kind of side part so that you can keep it up off of your neck or your collar if you're a nurse like me and you have to have your hair up, headscarf up. So you're all good if you do this. So I love this look. I actually quite like it. I wear headscarves a lot without any padding under them. Um, I know some people don't like to because they don't like feeling like it's really flush against their head. So this is just an idea if you are one of those people. Like sometimes I am. I like to mix everything up and I like to be a wee bit different. It just depends on my mood really. So this is just a kind of wee crazy idea and something that I found online which I think is absolutely brilliant. I have a few products from the Derezina.co.uk website. I am not getting paid to mention them by the way, just so that you know that. Um, I think they're phenomenal. The headscarves are good quality. Everything is fantastic. The hats are beautiful. They're all good quality. You can buy the kind of pre-done hats that have got bits on them. So this just works with any headscarf as you can see. And I'm going to go now because I have a little boy shouting on me. So um, I'm going to go. But I hope this was okay. I hope this helped for you guys. If you don't have um, one of these padded things and you kind of, you like that look as though there's something underneath and you want a bit of a fuller look on your head, um, another suggestion would be you could do what I used to do. What I used to do was, <laughs> I used to wear a, like a beanie hat, but it was quite thin cotton, but it was quite long, do you know, long, not so it wasn't just like fitted cap against my head, it had a wee bit of looseness at the back, a wee beanie, really fine cotton or whatever it was, polyester or whatever, it was quite soft and smooth anyway, and I, I was going to say I put one of those donuts for your hair underneath to sit like a bun, the truth is what I actually did was get a pair of socks, I had a pair of socks and a hat and it gave this exact same look, it did give the same look, so if you want a DIY attempt at it you can do that. However, the material of this thing from Derezina, whether it's bamboo or whatever it is, I'm not quite sure. It's it's really soft, it's really smooth, it's lovely against your scalp and it just gives you that wee extra padded look. So I have just tucked all this in and I was going to say it doesn't tend to come out. Um, you can always put another bobble around it or something or you could put a wee brooch. Sometimes what I do if I don't have earrings in and I wanted this, what I sometimes would do is maybe get a wee, a wee brooch and just pop a wee fancy brooch on there and it's like a wee bit of diamante or something nice just to change up the look and make it look a wee bit fancy. So I hope that was okay for you. I am so sorry that I'm talking so much once again. I know that I always talk an awful lot in these videos. My plan is usually to make them two or three minutes and then I can see already I'm almost at eight minutes. So thanks very much guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for everybody that was looking at um, my picture earlier who was interested in finding out how I got this look. It's really straightforward. I literally just sit and play around and sometimes things work and sometimes they don't and sometimes even if they don't work I'm just like well I like it so I'll do it anyway. So you guys have fun with your headscarves and all your bits and bobs and let me know if you've got any other ways that you think would be fancy to do headscarves or anything I could do a wee tutorial on if it helps anybody and just remember for all of you out there especially the guys might be watching this who are on the Alopecia UK group um, you are all beautiful and you're all stunning inside and out you're just lovely so feel good about yourself have fun playing around don't get it can be frustrating when you try to do something with a headscarf or a wig or anything like that and it just doesn't look how you want it to look or how you expected it to look or how I've done things and thought hmm, that looks lovely in someone else why does it not good, look good in me but do you know what, it's just, I think it's just having the confidence to do something a wee bit different and being okay with um, it taking time. I get frustrated when I can't do things that I want to do. But do you know what, if I can do this, anybody can do this. It's really straightforward. So you're all lovely and you're all very special. So take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys, see you later.